please tell us who you are, what problem your company is solving, and where you see your company growing to fit the changing needs in this space. Absolutely. Um, first of all, thanks for the the, the uh, context and the invitation to be here. Um, I, I will limit this to about a minute. I realize we have a lot to get through. Um, so my name is John Davis. Very proud to represent our work at Twin Health. Um, at Twin Health, we are addressing the chronic metabolic disease ecosystem, including type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, obesity, liver disease, kidney disease, um, uh, cardiovascular disease uh, more generally. And so that's the world that we're uh, sort of targeting. Um, the problem we're solving though, and really the insight that drives everything we do is the fact that all of these diseases are in fact related. And so we're driving the market to move away from viewing them each as individual fragmented disease and condition silos, but to really viewing them as we do at Twin Health as um, a, a holistic uh, chronic metabolic disease set. And when you look at them this way, uh, what you begin to realize and what, what we saw early on is that they all grow, Dr. Kraft's audio may still be on. There we go. Thanks. Um, all of those metabolic diseases actually stem from a single root cause, which is metabolic dysfunction. So our metabolisms don't function the way that they used to. That results in insulin resistance, visceral fat, inflammation, and that leads to the progression and development of these different metabolic diseases that manifest themselves through diabetes and obesity, et cetera. So what we're doing at Twin Health is we are getting right to the root cause of that, um, utilizing data from wearable sensors, behavioral social input data to create a digital replica or a digital twin in the cloud of each individual's specific metabolism unique to them, and we deploy AI-based predictive models to learn cause and effect. So for each person, the ability to understand what's causing metabolic repair and what's causing metabolic damage, not just from what they eat, but the amount of sleep they got the night before, their activity, what types of activity, their medications, how they're impacting them, and be able to tell them for the first time using data from themselves, their own data, what matters for them and what they need to do throughout a given day to repair their metabolism, actions they can take, choices they can make to repair their metabolism. And in doing so, we normalize, prevent and improve chronic metabolic disease holistically. Um, we have a randomized control trial with the Cleveland Clinic, uh, excited for those results to be published early next year. Uh, we've done other academic studies in which 70 plus percent of our population achieves uh, normalization of type 2 diabetes. Um, I should mention we're doing all of this while getting our members off of costly medications like GLP-1s. And so we certainly uh, are very proud of the outcomes we've achieved, not just in the academic research setting, but working with self-insured employers, health plans for their fully insured population to not only make their members healthier, but a lot happier and generate significant cost savings through the reduction in medical and pharmacy utilization for these at-risk entities. So we've really brought together a solution that tells members what they need to know to get healthier and stay that way while delivering effectively a triple aim value proposition to those accountable uh, for the cost of their care. One of the things you said was you're you're pushing the market to see metabolic diseases together as opposed to separately. And anytime you're trying to change people's behaviors and change the existing paradigm, that can be extremely difficult. So wondering how it is that you're going to go to market or going to market um, to solve that. So we sell to at-risk entities, including self-insured employers and at-risk health plans. Um, GLP-1s have made that argument a lot easier. So we used to have a hard time getting people to understand that given how much is being spent and focused and driven by GLP-1s and pharma marketing, frankly, they've kind of helped move the market that direction. So it's a lot easier now. But you know, what's been the most challenging aspect of getting to where you are today and, and how wow. did you overcome that? So Look, I think for us, given where we are, what has been challenging is we had two pretty seismic watershed shifts in our market space within like a 30 month period. We went from having to like convince people that applying AI in this way in healthcare was safe and secure and private to open AI coming out. And now it's everyone's being asked like, how quickly can we deploy AI in healthcare? And so we've been scrambling to catch up with that wave. 
And then we also have been, you know, we've been effectively getting people off GLP-1s for eight years. And now suddenly you have the release and approval for GLP-1s and weight loss. And it's an entirely new and even bigger wave, it seems. And so for us, it's how do we balance just the reshaping of the market in a way that feels generational and making sure we're doing it both solving for near term, like have to keep the lights on and keep going day by day versus how do we make sure we're relevant a decade from now giving these shifts. So if anybody has any ideas, please follow up with me. 